Hi guys, how are you? It's Arthi. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about a hair care product called Legendary Olive from Whole Blends. No, wait, let me read the Garnier <laughs> Whole Blends. Yes, I said it right. I don't know why sometimes I mess up the titles and what's on the bottles of this stuff. I don't know. I just had like a brain freeze. But um, so today I'm going to talk to you about the this hair care product specifically and I might be doing like a small hair series because and skin series also because I've been getting some questions from some of my older subscribers because I've had this channel believe it or not for I think almost two and a half years and I have been getting requests for updates on some really old videos that I had done a long time ago and I completely forgot about them and I will do some of those updates I guess in the coming weeks and but in the meantime I'll also throw in some other products that are newer and I'll talk about them first I guess or kind of along the way all right so let me show you this one first this is from Garnier of course like I already said right oh, okay now the brain freezes back and it's from whole blends and this is called legendary olive and this is a leave-in cream treatment to help with dry hair and I have been using this for almost about a month now and I started to use it because I was having issues with frizzy hair my hair just kind of naturally has some frizz to it and I wanted something to kind of tone it down and I thought this would be excellent because they had it on sale at the drugstore so I thought why not just pick it up now this is uh, 10 what is it 10 ounces or 10.2 ounces which equals 300 milliliters, so it's a pretty good amount. They give you plenty, I think this is more than enough to last for a good period of time. And I like the fact that it has this, this type of cap or this pop top, because this is very travel friendly if you are going to leave the house or go away on holiday or vacation or whatever, you could definitely take this with you and not worry about everything just spilling out and getting messy because it is greasy so that's always a good thing um now i guess um i will tell you i guess a little bit about what is in it exactly i mean it is an olive based uh cream treatment they say it has olive oil in it which is very good for your hair i know when i was little my mother used to always put coconut oil in my hair which is something that a lot of indian people do frequently so it is kind of i guess or the mindset is kind of along those lines it is an oil treatment and it works amazingly well if you have very dry or frizzy hair like me now i started to use this on um I think right before the summer really hit because I wanted something to kind of get my hair in shape so it wouldn't be crazy during the heat of the summer months. And it is a creamy lotion. I don't know if I could squeeze some out of the bottle. It might get a little bit messy, but I'm just going to put, I guess, a little bit on my index finger just to show you if I can get it out. Um, okay, that's a bit much, but <laughs> this, is, this is what the lotion looks like or the cream looks like. And this is supposed to be applied to either damp or dry hair. This is not something you put on your hair when it is completely wet when you come out of the shower. I'm not sure exactly why. I think the reasoning might be that it just absorbs better or functions better when your hair is just maybe a little bit, um, like not completely wet, but maybe half dry or completely dry because just because of the, I guess the way it's gonna absorb into your hair strands, because if your hair is wet, sometimes things don't always stay. They just come right off, especially once you start to brush your hair. So it is very easy to apply. You don't need a lot. It says you need about, right here, what I have on my finger, if it doesn't drop. This size amount that I'm showing you right now is more than enough. I mean, once you put it on the palm of your hand, it's gonna spread out a little bit more. And then you just take the cream and you work it through your hair. I personally would say that if you're going to use it, put it on your hair when it's damp rather than dry. I just think that the absorption is a little bit better that way. I have tried it both ways, but I just prefer it when the hair is damp because I think that once your hair dries completely, it just looks better and it just brings a better look to your hair altogether. And um, so you take it, just work it through the different sections of your hair. 
I, if your hair is long, of course, use a little bit extra, that's fine. And the way I do it is that I start underneath here on the sides and in the back and then I work my way through and I kind of save the top of the head for last because the first couple of times I did it, I went straight to the top and then it left my hair looking a little bit greasy which I didn't like too much. And so I realized I was maybe doing the application the wrong way. So you have to use more of like a total blending effect where you have to just really get into your hair, you know, dig in and just work it into the sections of your hair, the sides and the back. So you get like complete coverage and you're not, you know, like stuck with a greasy head and the rest of it is just like, you know, whatever, <laughs> because that doesn't, doesn't look very good. So that's how the application will get done. Now, the second thing is that it smells really nice. It has a good scent to it. I don't think that the scent is too overpowering, but if you are sensitive to that stuff, just keep that in mind because I know sometimes some people can't tolerate that stuff. They get very nauseous or it gives them headaches, but um, it should be okay. It's not, you know, over the top or anything because I sometimes will not use things if I don't like the way they smell or if I feel like the smell is like, you know, there the next day or if it's just every time the wind blows, it's like going up my nose. I don't like that. So that's not too bad as, as far as that goes. Now, the third thing is that how does it function in your hair and I guess what does it do long term? Now, I use this the... The, or the first day that I used this, when I woke up the next day, I just felt that my hair was slightly greasy after I had put it on. And I wasn't really too sure about it, but I washed my hair out and then I did a second application on day two. And then by day three, I noticed that it actually did soften my hair quite a bit. I was kind of surprised because when I got up in the morning and I looked in the mirror, my hair completely was like very soft the frizz was gone. It had a little bit of bounce to it and it did not look crazy or out of control. It was very tame and it was, you know, all kind of flat, but it also had a tiny bit of volume, which I like. So if you like styling your hair or even if you're not really into styling your hair and you just want a little more of a natural look, this cream is very good because I think it's effective with the fact that it's not overpowering. It just gives you enough moisturization to make your hair look decent and to give you like a nice soft natural look to it. And that was something that made me very happy. And because then that day I was just able to brush my hair out and I was ready to go. I didn't have to worry too much about styling and all of that stuff. So it definitely did give like a nice softening effect. Now, um, long term though, like once I stopped using it, I found that it was not very effective. My hair just kind of went back to being frizzy and it's just, you know, I had to kind of work a little bit with my hair to get it back to looking normal when I wasn't using the cream. But with the cream on a daily consistent basis, it does a very good job. If you're patient with it and you give it a couple of days or maybe even three days for it to take effect, it works incredibly well. Um, I guess the last thing is that I would say like after using it for about a week, I felt like there was a little bit of buildup from this legendary olive cream in my hair. When I would wash my hair in the shower, I felt like it wasn't like, um, I don't know how to say, there was like a little bit of like a greasy feel or a film in my hair, which was not washing out completely and I just was not too sure about that. But um, I mean, all in all, I don't think it was really too bad. I just wasn't sure if maybe it was the conditioner I was using or maybe it was the legendary olive. And I think maybe it was the olive cream a little bit because I did notice a little bit of greasiness in addition to what I normally do with my hair as far as the conditioning treatment is concerned. So just, you know, be mindful about that if, you don't want a lot of product buildup in your hair. Just give your hair a break every so often. If you do use the olive cream on a regular basis, just maybe stop for a few days and just let it wash out a little bit and then just go back to it when you think that your hair is ready or if you need it again. And I think that's about it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it as usual. And please leave me your comments and your thoughts. Let me know what you think and I love you guys as always and I will see you next time, okay? Bye.